right now a lot of people have been shaking their heads going wait I thought it was going to rain today. Uh, yeah and yesterday too the forecast though changed with the development of tropical storm Imelda originally last Friday over the weekend earlier this week we were watching this upper atmosphere disturbance very broad a big scope to it if this would have just worked in like was originally forecast we would have seen widespread scattered showers along the Texas Gulf Coast not really a th uh, threat for flooding, but what happened yesterday, the development of that central area of low pressure and then a little intensification, tropical storm Imelda made landfall near Freeport. Uh, and with that development, a lot of the moisture was drawn into the center and then the rain outlook became a lot more concentrated up along the southeastern Texas Gulf Coast and that feature is going to track in to the north today where that's where all the big rains are going to be had right now. Tower cam is showing a few clouds if you squint your eyes out there. The sun's on its way up, but still twilight out there. Traffic is thickening up, but it's flowing on SPID toward the Crosstown Exchange. 79 degrees right now. Again, radar's quiet here, but not too far away. Some big time rains. This is a feeder band into the center of Tropical Depression Imelda, which is now north of Houston, and this feeder band is dropping as much as five inches of rain per hour, and that's why they've got a flash flood warning south of Houston, south of the Lake Jackson area. Over a foot of rain has fallen over the last 24 hours, with most of that happening this morning, and you can see uh, this feeder band here, and this is also something called training storm activity, meaning that the movement of the rain is on the same axis as its orientation. So the same locations are getting continuous, very heavy rainfall rates. And that's why the flash flooding is a concern uh, over there. The center, though, of this storm, Tropical Depression now Imelda is north of Houston. It will continue to move north very slowly around five miles per hour. And with us being on the quieter side of this counterclockwise flow, we're going to be much drier than if this didn't strengthen, you know, with that strengthening, though, it's drawing all the moisture toward it. And we're going to only see isolated activity moving forward because of it. The concentration of heavy rain will be in eastern Texas, and then you drop those chances down as you get farther removed from the center of that storm. So only isolated showers here in the coastal bend with the heaviest and highest rain totals falling in eastern Texas locally, though. When you see these greens on the map here on this legend, not much rain, maybe a hundredth or two of an inch, a tenth of an inch there, and then a slightly better chance at making a run up to a quarter of an inch. But that's going to be dependent on if any isolated showers can skirt through the northeastern parts of KIIII country. Today, we'll see mid to upper 90s. That one may drop a quarter of an inch depending on where you're at, but that's the kind of look we're going to have to the radar. Not much coverage out there either today or tomorrow. You'll see a few isolated showers pop up. These will be moving in from the north around the backside of Imelda, but you know, more people are not going to see rain than do heading into the remainder of the work week. 97 degrees worth of heat is going to feel more like 105 outside. Hot, humid and breezy southerly wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour tonight, 78, partly cloudy, warm and humid. And we're going to wrap up summer on a hot note. Highs in the mid to low 90s above seasonal normal in the first day of fall. Monday, 93 degrees here won't feel much like fall at all in South Texas. John Thomas.